it's me Bakisa and welcome back to our channel here over at the Canva Cafe. Today we are going to make these cute little fun um, social media posts that you can post on your page to send across little messages to your audience. And if you are ready, here we go. So I found this gold frame over in Elements. Um, it's a gold iPhone and for the spot that we're going to use to drop our photo in, I'm using um, a grid. It's a frame grid. And I use this particular one because as you can see, you can make it any shape that you want. If you use just the regular square, the regular square um, frame won't allow you to be so detailed and, and shape it exactly to fit. What is going on? It's the fast and curious outside. What in the world? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> so... On the other page, I do have a scrap page where I have all the elements I'm going to use. So right there, you just see that, um, just saw that I popped my photo in there and by my, that's not me, of course. Um, it's whatever you would be using for your brand, whatever you're advertising or, you know, what have you. So now I'm just sizing it because I'm trying to determine how much of it I want on the page. So now I'm just going to go down to my scrap page and grab some of the elements that I want to use on my flyer. And I'm just sizing it. And if you want to see what font that is, uh, zoom in closely because <laughs> I don't know. But it just looks cute, those angel numbers. And it's a psychological kind of thing so if you po put things like that that people can relate to sometimes it may kind of persuade them to you know purchase your product so now i'm just adding a few details so you can just look and see what i'm doing because i'm looking seeing what i'm doing too <laughs> So now I'm using for the text box, it's just a shape, it's a square shape and I go up and adjust the shape and round the corners and if you want a tutorial on how to play with the shapes, um, just let me know. And I'm just changing the colors and I think in my um, final video, oh maybe it's this one, I changed it to this black and I think I might have changed it to another color too. So you can kind of tie it in to uh, match your brand, you can use that as a moment to match your brand. So now I'm just, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I got this little um, message type of um, text box type of element. And it, had, it came in the green color. And I think what I did was I went into the settings and I changed it to this gray color because I wanted it to... Uh, match the colors a little bit better so as you can see it was green and I changed it to that color and I'm going to get ready to add our um, our message and I think I end up changing it because I didn't like it because when I'm designing off the fly sometimes I really don't know and I want to use things that will give you a quick win that you can you know utilize and start making something today So yeah, you just type whatever message it is that you want your audience to know. And then um, I believe I was just lining up all the text because they weren't aligned correctly. And once again, I just wanted to add some more color because I'm extra. So all you have to do is highlight the particular um, font or letter or number, whatever it is in your text. 
and you can just um, use the color I use the color picker because I wanted to match the fake little cell phone so I'm just highlighting the leather um, number that I want to color so you can um, you can do that or you can leave it one color and don't be extra like me but if you don't want to be extra why are you following me <laughs> So there, I think that is so cute. I don't care what nobody say, you know, mm, I think it's cute. So then I'm going to group them all together and I think I had something locked. So I think I had to go back in and do it all again. So there I went back and um, grouped everything so that I could tilt the phone just to make it a little bit interesting. Now back to our scrap page and this is either a flare, a lens fit flare or a glare, I can't remember. But I have some similar in my um, keywords in that other video I made with glam keywords from Canva. And by adding it, it makes the phone look a little bit more metallic and semi-realistic. And the way they made the, the glare, it has that extra circle. I don't know if you can see it. So it makes it look like the screen is like a real reflective screen. And right there, you can see what it is. So. Now that we're done, I'm just, I decided to try to put a little background behind it and just to give you some ideas. So um, I just put some glamorous diamonds type of thing back then. I made it transparent and now some hair. So it depends on what you, you know, what you want for your brand. And so I just always make it a little transparent just to add a little bit of something and not too much. You could not do that if you want, it's your product. So now I'm adding a little hair bundle um, in the corner, and it's just a suggestion. Um, I end up not wanting to. I didn't want to do it, so I took it off. But I just felt like I should leave it there. So you're going to see a whole bunch of different, like I like to do at the end of all of my videos, some um, uh, design inspirations and suggestions just to give you, you know, some ideas plus I have too much time on my hands when it comes to designing and by time on my hands I, I just can't help myself I get in here and I think of 50 11 different things that I want to do so I just cram them in this part for you guys to see and let me know in the comments if you like when I give you these little um, extra creative uh, suggestions for your flyers after I've already designed the flyers. And as you can see, the flyer is already finished. It, the Not flyer, the um, Instagram post is already finished. Like I said, I'm just showing you different things to um, make it a little bit different. Or, you know, you can change up the background per the season or the holiday and if you found this very helpful please give me a thumbs up so youtube will know that you really liked it and they will send the videos out to others and the channel can grow once again thank you don't forget to subscribe i love you bye